name's Chip, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how easy it is to install the park assist. Okay, gang, this is what you've got in your package. Okay, in your park assist package, you've got 20 foot of 8 pound XT, I think that means extra tough, fishing line. You've got a little smiley face ball that's pre-assembled with an eye bolt in it. And you've got five screw, excuse me, four screw eyes. Okay, the first thing you want to do is just take one end of your 20 foot fishing line and loosely tie it to the end of the ball. I do one and then I do a loop that I can pull out because we're, wanna, we're going to want to remove this after we do this one measurement. Okay, when you're ready to do this, position the car in the garage to where you want it parked every time that you pull it in. And then what you want to do is figure out how you're going to place the ball uh, on the windshield. So grab your ladder, take the ball that you've tied onto the string, and go on up to a floor joist or anywhere on the ceiling. Place the ball on the windshield where you want it so that it just lightly touches. You need a minimum of 50 inches from the top of the ball to the ceiling in order for this to work. Then take some type of marking pen and mark the joist. Okay, now for the retractable installation. What you're going to need to do is, is install two of the screw eyes directly above the position where the ball goes on the windshield of the car. We have already marked the center spot for where the ball dropped. You're going to need a minimum of an 8 inch spread between the two screw eyes you mount to keep the ball line from twisting up as it goes up and down. So take a tape measure, take your marking pencil again, put your mark on the ceiling right on that 4 inch mark, and mark 4 inches to the front and 4 inches to the back toward the door. So you've got your 8 inch spread guaranteed. I use a drill just to give myself a little bit of a pilot hole for the screw eyes. Makes life easier. Bad your screw eyes. And once you get them started in the hole, they go in real easy. One of the keys to the screw eyes here is, is make sure that they are perpendicular to the door. The eye is flat this way, so this twine goes up and goes through the eyelet that way. After your first eyelet, then mount the second eyelet closest to the door. Again, making sure that the set position on the eyelet is perpendicular to the door. And then you're ready to go. Right now, when you've determined that position directly behind the two eyelets on the line, you want to mount one of the screw eyes either on the top face, on the top, or the inside face of the door. This happens to be a steel door and we went ahead and bought a different fastener. But in most doors, you can just drill a hole in it and insert the eyelet in. Okay, now, with the eyelet mounted on top of the door, you want to take one end of your 20 foot line, put it through the outlet, the eyelet, and tie a permanent knot. I just use a square knot. If you're a fisherman, go ahead and use a fishing knot if you want to. Make sure that you tie it securely. Make sure that your eye bolt is on there. Go ahead and take a scissors or a box cutter or something to cut off the excess so it looks nice. And then what you want to do is you want to take this line and string it through the first eyelet over the position on top of where the ball is going to be on the windshield. Okay, now for the positioning of the ball and setting the retraction, your two eyelets run the other end of your 20 foot of fishing line through the eyelet closest to the door Pull the line through, 
and hang loose for now. Take your ball. Now the time is to run the line through the eyelet on the ball. Set that down on the car and <coughs> run the line through the second eyelet. I double loop it through here and the reason that I do that is when it comes to tie off the knot permanently, it's a lot easier to do. Then go ahead and pull the line through the second eyelet until you get the ball to the position that you want it on the windshield and permanently tie it off on the second eyelet. This is where the double loop comes into play because the ball will maintain its position on the windshield while I tie off the knot. Again, cut off the excess. Make sure you cut the right lines and we're ready to go. Now, the end of a day or maybe just out going on a shopping excursion or something like that, you come back home, open your garage door, and your park assist ball comes down into position to help you put that car exactly where you want it to be. Bring your car up until the ball goes to position on the windshield. If you know, when it touches, you're there. All right, now, if you'd like to see your smiley face looking at you when you pull in the garage at night, all you have to do is just take your ball, making sure that the eyelet stays in the same position here, turn the face around to where you want it to be looking, and every night when you pull in the garage, it'll be in that direction.